Welcome to the Sea List. I'm Aaron. And I'm Josh. And today we're going to be looking at Cloverfield, directed by Matt Reeves and produced by Josh. Uh, it was JJ Abrams. Who has done? Um, he did Star Trek most recently, and he also did Mission Impossible 3. And I believe he is the man responsible for introducing us all to Lost. Yeah, and Alias. So. Alias is what made his name, really. Oh, really? Did you do Alias first? Yep. I was unaware of that. I thought Lost was his big thing. Oh no, he had Alias and then he got given Lost. But enough about Mr... I don't Mr. know if it's Abrams. Abrams or Abrams. But, um, yeah, um, Cloverfield, essentially um, handheld um, monster Hang flick. Down, sort of. Yeah, um, think Godzilla, but um, done Blair Witch style that's probably the best way to describe it, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and you're just following a group of survivors um, who don't know what's going on, and they're just... I don't even know if they're trying to escape, they're just trying to... They're trying to find the dude's girlfriend, for most of it. Yeah, and then they just try and get out of there, really, because no one knows what's going on. Yeah, um, they end up going to like a military sort of place, and then they just... Helicopter. But yeah. I thought they'd go to like, the medical sort of place and then they end up escaping from the medical place. Oh yeah, that's about halfway through. The medical place is where, after the subway bit. Rip off. Yes, yeah. fair enough. Do you want to explain why it's a rip off? Yes, um, basically the entire art style of the creatures and certain set pieces within the film um, seem to be completely lifted from the PS3 game Resistance made by Insomniac Games. Uh, Resistance was the very first game available for the PlayStation 3. Um, and it was released in 2006? When... Or two, well, it was made in 2005, released in 2006. When did Cloverfield come out? 2008. 2008. <laughs> yeah, but bang. And certainly the, um, the, the start of the monsters represents the Chimera, who are the main bad guys. And even like the subway section with like little crawlers on the ceiling and them only having a torch and it, it's, it's exactly the same, play the game, it, it's the same. Yeah. Um, to be fair, the film itself, the idea when it came out was original, I'll give it that, but the actual no, film it itself be. isn't, it, there's a lot of cliches and stuff in it. Um, it. It's one of those films that essentially became really big because of the hype. They did a mass viral campaign, a bit like Blair Witch did, but this one was even more. They made fake news reports worldwide about um, oil rigs collapsing. Um, they made a fake drinks company called Slusho, um, and they actually went to the stage of releasing the drinks. Um, every single major character in the film and some of the incidentals had MySpace pages, which they were going for months beforehand, and all of which ended the day that the film was set. Um, and it, it it was just a massive thing. Um, when they made the film, none of the actual actors knew how it was going to end. They were given the new bit of script each day. Um, so no one actually could leak out what they were doing. Um, it was just... It, it worked. I, I honestly think it worked. It was one of the best sort of secret films that's been made because everyone wanted to know, know more. Um, but yeah, did you want to know more, Josh? Um, I actually waited until it came out on TV before watching it. <laughs> because I, I, I did that stupid thing where you let other people go see it and then listen to what they say. Uh, and everyone that went to go see it well, basically said that it was rubbish and that handicap thing sucked and it was all stupid and it was stupid. Then I saw it and I honestly liked it and I thought the whole handicap thing was cool. Um, not something which I would advise films do ever again. But like with Memento, I don't think that should ever try to be done again. Um, but ultimately I, I, I did like it. Yeah, um, I, the thing that got me, because I, I, after following all this stuff, um, I was one of these people that end up looking at the monster footage on YouTube from the very first screening, the sort of test screening they did of the monster. But I went to see it on day release um, in UK and what annoyed me is the fact the footage looks too good. It's meant to be done on a handycam essentially. Um, the footage looked 
almost perfect on a big screen. Yeah, whatever and bloody HD handicap that judgment had was good. Should, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no things like that where it starts off so reality based and then gets more ridiculous. I mean, there's a bit where they're in a building and it starts like falling down and they're still climbing through it, and you sort of think, okay, you've gone a bit far now. Well, that didn't really annoy me. It was just, I think, I don't know if it's just because um, I like studied film and things, but the, it just doesn't feel like it was a handy cam. There's no motion blur with the camera. The framing feels forced. The lighting looks like it's been lit, opposed to it just being normal lights and stuff. This is the film geek inside of me just coming out, but it's what I felt. Really, um, the use of unknowns was a brilliant choice on um, their behalf. I thought because none of the main actors have been in anything big, as far as I know. They were all. Have they been in anything big since? I don't think. Um, I, don't, I don't remember seeing any of them ever again. No, they probably didn't. They're doing the same thing with um, Super Eight at the moment. They they're casting unknowns, massive viral campaign. Um, again. I'm following that. Hopefully it'll be good, slightly better than this. Um, I do like the fact, um, I went to the effort of watching the making of this, just just because I decided I want to, wanted to. Um, it doesn't really explain it in the film, but the monster is meant to be a newborn. Um, and it, it's not meant to be purposely destroying stuff, it's just scared. It doesn't really come across in the film, but I actually quite like that idea. It's just a lost child. That's an interesting idea that sadly got squashed by the fact that the film didn't put enough focus on it. Yeah, I don't know how they would have got it across either, because no one knows what this creature is. No. But, um... Yeah, uh, the other thing that annoyed me is, like, the camera takes so much damage in that. Anyone with a handy cam knows if you drop it, you're lucky if you don't, like, lose a couple of pixels, but... More often than not, you'll break it. This yep, camera gets crushed. There's a bit, isn't there? I, I'm right in believing, I think, a building... During that collapsing building bit, the camera falls to the floor and gets stuff knocked on it. Yeah, and then the dude scurries around and he picks it up and it's like the only time you actually see the camera on his face, I think. Yeah, so it's a bit like, well, that's a bit... <coughs> you know. I'll give them credit, it does feel like... Um, they're using a handy cam. Quite like I mean, it doesn't look like it in terms of the visu the visual quality, but I mean the way in which the camera moves and the fact it doesn't focus on bits like a normal film does. Yeah. It's very focused. But yeah, I I I I like it more over time. I think it's held up well in a way. Um just slightly annoyed they didn't go with the Cthulhu idea, which would have been awesome. The Godzilla idea, which again would have been awesome. And the whale design. The whale design for the monster was amazing. Did you see the whale design for the monster, Josh? Yeah, I saw the, I saw the whale design when it was first leaked. Did you like it? No, I did like it. I thought the whale was cool. Yeah. I would have preferred Godzilla, though, but... Yeah, but they want, um, they wanted to make a, an American Godzilla film, but have uh, its own monster, essentially. But, I don't know, I saw it, thought it semi-worked. I personally would say it's it, it's worth checking out. I mean, I enjoy it. I wouldn't go out my way to find it, but if you see it... I don't it, own it, but I'd recommend people see it. Yeah, it, it's worth seeing just because it's slightly different. But yeah, that's my say. Um, yeah, positive review for me as well. Check it out, it's worth a look. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, bye-bye.